Today is Thursday, February 3rd, 2022. Welcome back to SCGB's Today at the Creek. I'm Taylor Carrico. And I'm Sarah Henry. Before we begin, we pause to honor our nation and reflect. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and today's motivator. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, this is Garrett the Motivator, and today for motivation, a quote from the legendary astronaut Neil Armstrong. I believe every human has a finite number of heartbeats. I don't intend to waste any of mine. Life is short, and you should be able to enjoy it while it lasts. Juniors interested in work-based learning for the 2022-2023 school year will find an application in the registration packet when they receive it. Work-based learning is a chance for students to get school credit for your working job. Any student that would like more information before registration can stop by and talk to Ms. Dixon in room 411 or Mr. Hoppeman in room 416. The yearbook is now accepting applications for the 2022-2023 yearbook staff. Applications are due to Ms. Meadows in room 116 by Friday. You may pick up the form from your English teacher or your counselor or stop by room 116 during ICU to pick one up. And now for the Stewart's Creek Sports Report with Jackson and weather with Alex. Hey, Rocks, Jackson, Tommy, you reported a Stewart's Creek Sports Report. On February 1st, the boys' varsity basketball team beat Bradley Central 61-57. And then also the girls' varsity basketball beat Bradley Central 44-40. Now, on February 2nd, the girls' varsity basketball will be going against Antioch at Antioch at 6 p.m. Then, the boys' varsity will be going against Antioch at Antioch at 7.30. I'd like to congratulate Christian Sharon on signing a letter of intent to Cumberland University. And I'd also like to congratulate Gabe Walker on committing to Centra College. And also, I'd like to congratulate Upton Belafonte on committing to the University of Alabama. Now to Alex with the weather. Hello Red Hawks, my name is Alex Tompkins, and the weather for this weekend will start out with a high of 34, with a low of 17 and partly cloudy on Friday. The weather for Saturday will have a high of 38 with a low of 20 and sunny. The weather for Sunday will have a high of 49 with a low of 24 and sunny. Now back to Sarah and Taylor. Hey seniors, SCTV has begun working on the class of 2022 at slideshow. Email your pictures to stewardscreektv at gmail.com if you want to get your photos in the show. The deadline is February 10th if you want to make it in this, this year's show. Attention National Honor Society members, please remember that the final deadline in which you must submit your NHS dues is Thursday, March 24th, which is the Thursday before spring break. You can pay your NHS dues on any Thursday morning between now and spring break in the cafeteria, but remember that we only have a limited window of time each morning during which dues money can be accepted. So don't leave it until the last minute. If you have any further questions about NHS dues, please email Dr. Tate. And here's today's ACT Word of the Day with Christy. Hello, Red Ox. I'm Christy with your ACT Word of the Day. Today's word is digress, which means leave the main subject temporarily in speech or writing. An example sentence is, I do not wish to digress from the points that we are discussing. Now back to Taylor and Sarah. FCA is meeting in the lecture hall on Tuesdays at 745. See Coach Barna for more information. Now here is Cade with the day in history for February 3rd. Hey Red Hawks, this is today in history for February 3rd. In 2020, a cruise ship Diamond Princess carrying 3,700 passengers was quarantined in Yokohama Port, Japan after cases of COVID-19 was found on board. In 2002, New England Patriots beat the St. Louis Rams 20-17 to with Tom Brady as the MVP. In 1962, U.S. President John F. Kennedy bans all trade with Cuba except for food and medical drugs. That's all for Today in History for Thursday, February 3rd. Seniors, if you need help with community service hours, see Mr. Bissinger in the SCTV studio for more information. There will be a dual enrollment meeting for current 10th and 11th grade students and their parents who are interested in taking dual enrollment classes next year on Tuesday, February 8th at 6 o'clock in the theater. MTSU will present information about the enrollment process, course offerings, and other important information students will need to know about taking dual enrollment classes next year. It's time to apply for the Work Ethic Distinction. The Work Ethic Distinction is a workforce certification that shows you are college and career ready. You can add it on your resume or use it in an automatic interview with participating employers across the state. 
All students who earn this designation earn a diploma seal and a green cord for graduation too. This certification is not tied to a class. All seniors are encouraged to apply and to get started by setting up an account at tnworkethics.com. And that's all for this edition of SUTV's Today at the Creek. Thanks for tuning in, Red Hawks. For more SCTV programs, subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Twitter. Have a great day, and remember that we are one team. team.